Hi, we're going to show you how to update your Magaya. This update applies to any Magaya and product version that you may have. So the first thing that we want to do is we want to open up the Windows Explorer, also known as the File Explorer, and also the Task Manager. Task Manager is located by the time. Just right click on it and click on Task Manager. Two most important icons here for the update are the CS and the DB. The CS is the communication server and the database is the DB. If you notice these two icons are not present on your system tray, which is this area down here, you can simply just select them in the area where it says processes in the task manager and then end task. You can do that to both of them if they're not present. Afterwards, you can go over to your Windows Explorer and find your Magaya installation folder and double click on the CS UI and the database UI then your icons should show up down here. Next, I want to make a backup of my database. So I'm going to right click on my Magaya database server agent, select my database and open the database administrator. I'm going to make sure all the users are not logged into the system. So I'm going to kindly go around the office and ask everybody to log off. Once everybody's logged off, they should not show up here anymore in any of these connections. I will now go ahead and backup. I'm going to use a manual full backup. I'm just going to place it in my backup folder. Keep in mind that you want to make sure that you have enough space to do your backup. I'm going to go ahead and save and then click close. Next, I'm going to go to my Magaya communication server agent, right click on it and stop the communication server. Afterwards, I'm going to right click on it again and click on exit. Next, I'm going to go to my Magaya database server agent, right click on that one and stop my database server. Afterwards, I'm going to right click on the icon again and click on exit. I want to make sure that I have no processes here that say Magaya. And if I'm ready, I'm going to go over to my Windows Explorer and I'm going to right click on onlineupdate.exe and run as administrator. If I receive any Windows messages, I will accept them once I have my online update window opened, I'm going to just click start. Now that my update is complete, I'm going to click on OK and then close. The communication server agent and the database server agent should automatically come up on my computer. And then what I'll need to do is I'll need to execute or just open up my Magaya. And I'll receive this message asking me if I want to go ahead and convert the database. I'll just type in yes as it asks and click on continue. Converting the Magaya database means upgrading the previous Magaya database version to the new Magaya database version. There is no harm done to the database and nothing is lost. Once I've converted the database and I receive my login screen, I know that my update was successful. The last thing I want to make sure is in my communication server agent that my communication server is running. In this particular case, since I did the conversion from my database, it wasn't running, so I'm going to start my communication server. And that's it.